Okay, so I guess this is something that you guys wish I would have done, a comparison between these two um, in the video. So this video is special. I'm not going to include it in the normal feed on YouTube. Uh, but those of you guys that are here on Facebook that or that click the link in that comment um, from that video, that pinned comment showing this, um, it's just going to be a quick video showing this. And I'm going to show one other thing with Gambit. Um, uh, one of our subscribers here, he actually had a great idea on how to get the Gambit to look right. So I'm going to give it a shot. Um, and we'll kind of see how that goes. But here is the comparison between Caliban and Monster Venom. As you can see, they do not use any of the same parts. It sounds like um, a lot of people were under the impression that they did. They do not. None of nothing on these figures are the same. Um, nothing. It's 100% new sculpt. 100% original sculpt. There's there's no similarities other than they both have um, a metallic shine to them and they're both big um, and it looks like Calban actually stands taller but that's only because Monster Venom, his torso and his head come down as opposed to going up. So there are the two. They are not the same figure. Nothing about the two figures are the same. There are no reused parts on it whatsoever. But there they are next to each other so you guys can see. Again, no, no, no same parts, nothing, nothing at all. Um, but while we're here, one thing I did not do was actually show off the back of the Caliban figure. So I'm going to zoom in here and we're going to take a look at the detail. Um, not a whole lot, but the paint deco is actually pretty good. There's a little bit of fuzziness on these edges of the metallic pearly white up against the dark red, uh, but it's not bad. And usually on the back of a figure, you know, Hasbro's not going to put in the same amount of effort, whereas this figure, it got the full treatment on the back. Um, again, not a whole lot design, but it does look very good, so no complaints there. So the back of the figure does look pretty good. So... There he is, Caliban. Not any of the same pieces as Monster Venom. Now we're going to switch it over and take a look at that Gambit trick to see if we can get the card throwing thing to look right. Okay, so Gary Jacobs, this one is for you. You gave me the idea of how to make it look like the card throwing effect actually looks like he's really throwing cards because they tend to have kind of the opposite direction effect. So you're right. So if you have Gambit facing towards his left and you put the fall, the, the effect piece palm up, it looks like he's tossing kind of like underhand this way. So the motion would go like this you know, going out. So it actually, that does, um, that does actually work for it. So if you have them, depending on how you have your positioning of it, you could do it this way. So palm up. Um, I'm not sure that that's the way he would really throw the cards or not. I'd have to go back and look at, see if there's any images or go back and try and watch, um, the cartoon, see if it actually has anything uh, of it there, but that that actually does actually work out, and that would be correct if he's doing it, if he's throwing it kind of you know palm up, that would actually work. So, thank you for the tip. Um, I'm probably still going to display it with the uh, the two fingers holding the one card, uh, but that does work. So if you're, you're looking to do some kind of shot, some kind of ACBA shot or something, um, that's how you would position the gambit, and it does actually work out. So thank you, Gary Jacobs. Appreciate it.